My name is Fernando dos Santos, I'm the Director General of the African Regional Intellectual Property Organization, ARIPO. ARIPO is an uh, intergovernmental organization combining 18 uh, countries from southern, eastern, western Africa. Our mandate is to promote intellectual property matters. In uh, this session, we will be working uh, on um, geographical indication also, which derives from a mandate that we received from our member states, the Administrative Council of Aripo, uh, entrusted us with the responsibility to promote the use of geographical indications in uh, our member states. This means uh, working on the legal framework, of, uh, first of all, thinking on uh, national legal frameworks or regional uh, framework eventually, and they also promote uh, such actions that can uh, allow implementation of the GIs uh, uh, in Africa. So uh, one of the things that we will be doing uh, shortly, thanks also to the memorandum of understanding that we signed with the, the European Union last year in November, we will organize a number of uh, workshops for member, member states, and we expect from those uh, workshops to have a way forward in terms of how we need to implement uh, this system in our member states. The majority of uh, the, the Aripo member states are in these developed countries. The population is, is uh, um, based its economy in agriculture. And the, the characteristic of this agriculture is indeed that it's, we're talking about the small farmers. So um, mainly the problem of, uh, with the small farmers is linked to access to market or uh, prices of the product that they're selling. So we think that the geographic indication tool is very much important because first of all, it inputs in the reputable products to add much more value to this product. Uh, with the geographic indications, we think that uh, these products uh, will gain much and more attention and the, the access to markets will be facilitated. Uh, a lot of challenges indeed because uh, first of all these small farmers are not very well organized so the value chain at the, its uh, starting point it has no strong instruments to protect what they are producing but also we, we have said that they, we have problems with the legal frameworks they are not quite old in number of the, of the countries in uh, our member states there is no uh, legal system to protect GIs so we have to start from there also because we need to establish a legal framework for the protection of the GIs. Then we have other uh, problems, other challenges like uh, the quality, monitoring of, uh, of production, and even if the geographical indication then is, uh, is protected, how to follow up these products. So we have a lot of challenges, but uh, we know that the final benefit.